Okay, this is video number five and it's uh, connecting devices in Packet Tracer. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have the select tool and then I'm going to go down to the categories in the bottom corner and select connections. Okay, and when I do that, the connections window changes so that I have a, a choice of different connections. And as I hover over each one, it will tell me down along the bottom what type of connection it is. Okay, so the main one, the main ones that we'll be using for our exercises in this semester are this third one and fourth one. So there's the copper straight through, which is um, a cable that we've seen and made in class, and the copper crossover cable. Okay, so we need to select the correct type of connection for connecting two devices together. So in this case, I'm going to connect a PC to a switch which means that I need to use a straight through cable. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that and I can see it's been selected and then click on the PC. Okay, so when I click on the PC, I'm giving a choice of two ports that I can plug into. For a copper straight through cable, you need to make sure that you plug into a fast ethernet port. It is possible to plug into this RS-232 port, but that will not give you network connectivity. So just make sure you have that selected, okay? And once I've done that, you'll see that the mouse pointer changes to a little network connection, and then I can click on the switch. Now when I click on the switch, I'm given a choice of 24 ports from port one to port 24 to plug into. So if the exercise asks you to plug a PC into port 10, you need to select it here, or if it asks you to plug into fast ethernet zero slash one, plug it in here so I'm going to plug it into this one okay and now I'm going to choose another connection so I have to go back down to the cables it automatically turns off the connection so I'll choose a crossover cable now I want to connect my laptop to a switch but I'm cho I've chosen the wrong cable so if I've chosen the wrong cable I can just press the escape button okay and that choice is gone and I can go instead and choose copper straight through so I'm going to choose the copper straight through click on the device make sure I select fast ethernet and then click on the switch that I want to connect it to so in this case I'm going to connect it to port 2 for the laptop okay and I'll select that now if for any reason you've plugged into the wrong port on either the switch or the laptop you can get rid of the cable by going over to the delete tool and then clicking on the cable so when you do that make sure you go back to the select tool otherwise you might end up deleting more than you intended and then go back and make the correct selection so copper straight through click on the laptop click on fast ethernet click on the switch and click on the port that you want to plug into and I'll just repeat those steps for the printer and the server so click on the straight through click on the printer now the printer only has a fast ethernet so you can't go wrong click on that click on the switch select the port number that you want to plug into back down to copper straight through click on the server click on the fast ethernet port and click on the switch and now click on fast ethernet 0 slash 4 ok so we now have four devices connected to the switch and you can see that some of the lights are green on both ends others are green on one end and amber on the other after about 20 or 30 seconds those lights will change to green it's just a check the uh, network switches go through when a device is first connected and then just finally I'm going to show you how to connect two PCs directly together so because the PCs use the same pins for transmit and receive on both ends we need to use a cable that will cross over those pins so we'll select a copper crossover click on one PC and select fast ethernet and click on another PC and select fast ethernet okay and 
that completes the instruction for connecting devices in Packet Tracer. In the next video, I'll show you how to check the connection status and also how to configure IP addresses on devices.